Welcome back, friends. Last guy here, and it's time for more control. Let's go ahead and get these last two, and then we'll probably do Langston or something. We'll see. Oh, this room. All right. Oh no, that's not the right room. Forget it. Wrong room. Over here. Where? Over? What? Where the hell am I going? Oh, over here. Doesn't match the map at all, but okay. Go kill whoever is over here in the coolant pumps, and then we'll go over to the quarry. Oh, hey, look at that. I can go here now. How useful. Oh, no, we've been... Okay, I see. that mold? That's mold, right? Yeah, that's mold. That's a lot of mold. Oh, oh, hey, look at that. Finding a bunch of mold up in here. A door I can't go into. Okay. I go higher? Maybe. A rock. Oh, nothing? Okay. Different rock. Nothing? Okay. Who's exploring up here, apparently? That's enough. We gotta get down there. Was this place moldy before? I feel like it wasn't. Where are they? Oh crap, it's one of the- Ow! Ooh, that sucked. Suck total ass. Well, that was it? Okay. That was freaky. Now we'll go back. It's a whole different game once you have flying, right? Jeez. Gotta go back. Oops. Gotta go back to the teleporter. Or the thingamajigger. And then we'll teleport to uh, the quarry entrance. And we'll probably go through the furnace. Four inches will be easier. It's actually called that. Okay, that works. Oh, great. One of those are here. Flying over. Oh, hey, Thompson. Would you kindly die to that thing? It would help me out if you died to that thing. Or, you, or just died. That works, too. Surrounded by those things, jeez. Got taken out. Well, I guess if I have nothing to get penetration three. Final penetration, right? Oh, we got your jukebox. Nick. What I'm talking about? If they're in there. We go around that way. Now. Huh. Look at this first. Television proposals. Based on the success of America Overnight, we would like to propose the creation of a uh, television series that represent that presents superstition and skeptical thought as entertainment in order to popularize these concepts among civilian population and create less resistance to redirecting information regarding public paranatural events. We also use a social, a solid media outlet to test paranatural concepts of civilian audiences, seeing how they react to certain facts presented as fiction. In the event that the Bureau ever decides to make certain realities public knowledge. There are various show licenses that we could purchase and reboot rather than starting from scratch. One particular property seems promising, especially considering its content tone, regardless of what we we're looking for. It's called Night Springs and has been off the air for a few years now. That's Alan Wake. I know that's Alan Wake. Uh, Night Springs was in Alan Wake. I remember that much. Uh, that's a reference to it. Okay, so... This has been a belief that that if people, if in order to get the conspiracy that aliens are are have already happened, is the idea that well, if you get people used to the concept of aliens, eventually they'll be able to accept aliens existing kind of thing. That's the belief that some have is that aliens are a thing, and we're just getting everyone prepared for it with uh, stories and things like that. Here are the pouches. I found six. Well, that's all of them. Not counting mine. Well, I guess I'll just have to wear all of them. It sounds sappy, I know, but... That's all I can think to do. Nothing's easy with the hiss. Is it rude to ask what's inside? What's inside the pouches? <laughs> Too late now. You now, the story's confidential, but, uh... Well, I guess I can tell you, being the director and all. So, uh, the Bureau had heard rumors of, uh, 
werewolf gathering upstate every full moon? Us being rookies, they sent us to confirm it was bullshit. Hold on, is he about to tell me werewolves are real? <laughs> Turns out, there was an altered item that was creating violent gravitational anomalies during full moons. Oh man, we nearly bit it that night. Well, to remember the occasion, we all bought silver bullets to wear around our necks. Just in case we ever ran into another werewolf. So why did you leave the rangers? I thought I could do more good here. As somebody's got to protect the people who protect everybody else, right? That's cool. I All have right. to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. See got you enough soon. points for a thing, maybe? And I think we need four points. Oh no, we got we got three points. We don't have enough points. <laughs> Shield strength up. Why not? And be needed eventually. Outfit. Let's see this new outfit. Is she gonna suit? That looks kind of cool. She's like Neo. Looks like a Neo kind of person. Back to civilian. Alright. Just gonna smack my bitch up when we're dressed like that. Okay, so... Two bucks! What the heck is that? I wanna do that. And after that, we'll do the Prime. That's just Prime. Uh, where is it? I already forgot where he said the jukebox was. Was it in there? Use the token in the jukebox. Uh, have we heard this one? This is Lynn Selvin, no, we haven't. Head of Bureau Security. I'm making a formal security order due to the incident in April. Case number 21HQ593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. Ah. We believe a pair of agents used the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in inappropriate workplace behavior. <laughs> An expedition team found them decomposing at the formation's base a week later. At least we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. The new location's security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse while still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. All right. Okay, so where the hell is the jukebox? Is it in here? Oh, hey, we haven't done this. Clearance three, gimme. Oh, radio. Whoops. Take it with me. I can't take it with me. Ugh. Doesn't sound like anything special. Now it does. Head bobbing. Well, we could carry it with me. Yeah, it sounds good, though. Go find that jukebox. Oh, hey! This is probably it. Alright, yeah, it's in here. Alright, let's do it. Put the token in the jukebox. Oh, it just loads it somewhere. Okay. That sound doesn't sound great. Interesting. Oh, it's a different quarry? Interesting. Let's see what happened to the expedition team. All right. Well, then we shall fly to find out. We fly. Higher. Okay, nothing here. Or there's anything down there, huh? That is bright! Unmapped area, balls. Of course it's unmapped when you think about it. Floating stuff. Ah, okay. That's just a hazard cone. Not hazard cone, but a warning cone. Climbing up. 
Ooh, look at that. That looks so cool. The formation. Stars. That certainly looks like the same sky as the quarry. Yes, I should look for those rangers. Let's see what's this about. Travel through the active uh, gate to the island site. Island site? Active gate? Oh, whoa, 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 Stargate's up in here. How's that over there? There's no reading material anywhere. Which one's the active gate? This one? A flashing light. We must have gone that way. All right. Uh. Oh, that's cool. Well, I thought I was gonna have to fly there. All right. Probably invisible walls in the other spots. I assume I have to use dash if I didn't have flight yet. Does that flight? Eh. What if I blew that one? Do my punch? Here we go. There's the side for the missing expedition team. The scrapyard. It's still unmapped. Okay. Because it's always going to be unmapped. What's just useful for just getting up vertical real quick? Geez, they had a lot of things out here. Oops. How am I supposed to go is the question. Maybe there. Where the lights are? Nope. Oh, I feel very lost at the moment. Yeah, okay, there's a body. Here we go. Things! There are so many. You're listening. Get out. No! Push away! The hiss. They're here. That's the assumption. Survive is the mission? Oh, you got it. I got it. I got it. Survive. Oh, you're acting like that's a hard thing to do. Bam! Got a mid run. Oh, pulls! Oh, I thought I saw a thing getting shot at me. You would dare shoot at me? I keep forgetting to make a gun. Let's see if I can do a gun upgrade yet. Get rocked! Join me! Oh, the ball! On the ball! Oh, dang it! Got it. Get penetrated. Get penetrated. There we go. Ah! All right, that happened. Guess the song ended. Good timing. Speak of the race. So you can only do it as long as the song. So they got all that construction stuff. As long as the song wins. Interesting. What are we gonna tell them? They're in there. Let me go around that. There you are. Did you, uh, did you find those rangers at the formation? I found them, but it's not good news. The Hiss got there first. Lots of them. Oh, another dead team. Jesus. You know, I should have seen this coming. The formation, it's got like a, a pull to it. Things just end up there. I'm sure you saw all the junk from the Bureau lying around. There were a lot of Hiss, Arish. I mean, a lot. Did they get pulled in too? Hmm. Or they forced their way in? The formation is just a big question mark to us. But who knows? You might even find some useful stuff down there. All I know is we cannot let the hiss get comfortable. Sounds like you have a plan. Uh huh. Mm. A simple one. You need to find more tokens and clear the hiss the fuck out of the formation. That is simple. <laughs> oh, and I found a file on the formation while you were gone. You take a look for yourself if you want. A lot of the terms in there are way beyond me. <laughs> I don't like to overcomplicate these situations. 
When in doubt, fuck it. Shoot something, right? <laughs> Real helpful, Arish. <laughs> I try. Arish is a fun guy. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. I gotta find more tokens? Can we construct their control points earned through bureau alerts? And... Oh, okay. Well, that would have been great a long time ago. I can now make tokens. That would have been great way earlier. Oh, I can make penetration. Good. I need to penetrate things. Do it. Arish does have elf, ear elf ears, yeah. So, oh, it's cheaper to make a bunch? Guess we'll wait for 40,000 again before we do that. Guess we're not doing that for a while. Is a jukebox an actual quest or is that just uh, a place I can just fight a bunch if I want? Is a jukebox just an arena mode? Something else in the movie meeting? Did I hear that? Squad Captain Lopez. I didn't find these. Expedition 17B. At the formation now, visually no distinction from the previous visit. The link detectors are still standing. One arch has a light flashing, so we're gonna give the area once over. Then we'll head back. Lopez out. Dog teeth? They're all de dead. Oh, we found that one. We didn't find the first one, we found that second one. Okay, so well, big box. Items to be kept in a secure location in the executive sector. See security order number blah 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 blah. A classic 1950s jukebox made by Song Master Entertainment Ltd. The jukebox was found with a single record inside titled A Song for the Others by Redacted. When this record is played in the object, anyone within earshot is translocated for as long as the album is playing. Those involved in the object's first known incident report being transported to a tropical beach. Exact location unknown. When this object is used in the oldest house, it only transports users to an area located in the... Wait a second. Why is there a anyone with earshot is looking along? Those involved in the objects. First known incident. Tropical beach. Okay, okay. When this object is used in the oldest house, it only transports users to an area located in the recently manifested quarry threshold. Researchers theorize that this site's unique spatial density results in all transitioning uh, materials gravit gravitating to its position. As has been tr observed with the other bureau equipment, the oldest house's unique nature could also be having an effect on the object itself. This object is not bound but to any known individual. Attempts by bureau staff to bind it have resulted in redacted and should not be attempted again. I'm assuming death. Found a new unit or something? I knew. Tokens? The formation. Oh, here we go. The formation is a tall stone structure found in Cory Site Beta, only reachable by placing distinct tokens in the jukebox object of power. The formation exact purpose is redacted, but we can at least re-examine its relationship with the redacted surrounding it. Formation devices found trace evidence of redacted, redacted, at certain lines running from the formation to the redacted. When examined properly, four direct ritual tethers were detected. Some form of sympathetic casual causality connects the formation with the redacted. Which means, in theory, that when certain redacted are performed at one, it will physically affect the other. I've been urged to note here that some individuals believe the formation responds to any fulfillment of purpose or desire in nearby individuals. Though I'd like to remind those individuals that were the parakinesiologists, not the parakinesiologists department. I'm proud to report that my team was able to design, construct, and install a permanent detection system. These arches will help the rangers identify when the casual tethers are active, allowing them to better redact it. Yeah, instead of the beach, you get rocks. It's an optional horde mode, which is curious. I assume you get prizes for doing this horde mode since it costs so much to go there. But we're going to do the candidate program, so we've got to go to back to containment. Okay, so up this way. Why do I even have charge if I'm never going to use it, right? In case I do have to use it. Kaboom! Oh, that's not good. What am I hitting? There we go. Something hit me! You would dare strike me? 
I don't even know what that thing that struck me is. Okay, I need to heal. Okay, shield up. Shield up. Oh, I almost got the shield up in time. Hmm. Well, balls to me. But at least we're going the right way. We know that much. I want to believe we're going the right way. No, I might not be going the right way. What am I talking about? Let's believe, though. Ready up. What? Oh, I missed. Got his ass, though. Throw in the bodies. Let the bodies hit the floor. There we go. Oh, balls, oh, balls, oh, balls, oh, balls. Oh, we got him. Balls, I say. There we go. Aim better. Aim way better. Double kill. Bam! You want peace? Whoop! Oh, I missed completely. Get benched! Oh, I said get benched! What do I got? Have a body! Oh, Jesus Christ! Get him! There we go, he got benched. Not good enough for our baseball team. Bam! Is that all of them? That's all of them. Okay. Now, where was I going? This way. Oh, this way! Containment 6? Where in 6, I mean? Sir! Oh, what? Ugh. Dual sample. Time to read. Mirror supplement? What? About the mirror? That's interesting. Redacted. She was admitted to a mental ward for emotional instability. Soon after relocating to Illinois with her family in 1914, the item only appears on record again in 2006 when the Bureau investigated a sudden rise in disappearances in Redacted, Illinois. Agents found the item hanging in the local library. They contained it quickly, though the missing people of the town were never recovered. We certify that the case of Mrs. Redacted has shown her to be a lunatic under the reason of hysteria, bad company, and imaginary female trouble. Wow. Her fixation with the family-looking glass is uh, noteworthy, though... Not an uncommon matter when considering the female disposition. Wow, that's effed up. Mrs. Carver is a fit subject for lunatics, uh, lunatics uh, asylum and will remain in its confines where aff affliction is passed. Signed, Dr. Redacted. Ran that was a random voice. Oh, that scared me. Oh, this is a whole place. Prime, oh. Who is P7 becomes the question. Okay, so let's go ahead and hear the hotline. Prime candidates. Two minutes. After North Moore stepped down, I doubled every effort to find new prime candidates. There was no one. No one but me. That wasn't good enough. I pushed hard. I never wanted the Bureau to end up in that situation again. The Bureau needs a director. Always. When my time reaches an end, I want more options on the table. P1 through P5 were all false leads, dead ends, and disappointments. Then, P6. Dylan Faden. He fell into our arms. No parents. They're gone casualties of an AWE. The boy has exceptional talent. The oldest house will be his home. We'll build him from the ground up. He'll be trained and taken care of. Darling can be in charge of this project. I can't. I'll stay away. I will not fail the boy like I failed my own family. Yes. My daughter and my wife. We weren't careful enough back then. Something came home with me. I took work home. My Susanna got sick. When I realized my mistake, I wanted to bring her here for Darling to do what he could. Kate flat out refused. Civilian doctors treated our daughter, but they didn't have a clue. She died. Kate left me. Same old story. 
that was a long time ago. The Bureau is all I have now. And the prime candidates are our future. There are two. P6 and P7. We're spoiled for choice. You want to assume she's P7? Or something else is P7 and we got to fight it? Bam! Blew it completely! Bam! One. Oh, there's a ball. There's always a ball. Let the bodies hit the floor as always. Oh, hey, Jesus. Where? Ah, oh, jeez! Oh, no, 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 no. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I mean, this is going to go off before I can find it. Yeah, there it is. And now it's dead. Oh, that was a bad shot. What is that? Oh, jeez. You know, a lot of you need the bench. None of you are really good for baseball. What the hell did I miss on? Oh, jeez. Get mail! What the balls? Hit that for something. There we go. What I got stuck on? Natural blip. Okay, 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 okay. Who needs to make a phone call? You do! Bam! There we go. Okay, that's a trip over there. Whoop. What? 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 Oh, you want peace! Alright, let's go! Penetrated! Uh, okay, Blah. there we go. What? Alive? Not anymore! There we go. Oosh. Okay, there we go. Moving on. The trenches are dead. <laughs> I don't think that's the idea, but... This place is a trip. The mannequin! We heard about the mannequin. What? The only thing creepier than one mannequin is a few dozen of the damn things. There we go. Now there's some mannequins here, okay. Am I in a map area? Okay, I still am, okay. There's just mannequins now. I probably have to find the right one. Oh, is it readable in here? Bright Falls Supplement. Bright Falls. Oh, oh, Bright Falls. Bright Falls! Where's Bright Falls? Where's Bright Falls at? There it is. Yep, Alice Wake. Mr. Wake's wife was found during the Bureau investigation. She was interviewed and evaluated. She showed signs of severe mental trauma in the form of redacted memory loss. She was later directed to treatment. It was concluded that she had been trapped in the threshold during its manifestation. Notable individuals still missing after the Bright Falls event are FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale and Dr. Emil Harmon, referred to the creator's dilemma. In the file, read the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Bureau researchers believe this event was the result of a forceful perception of subjective reality stemming from Mr. Wake overlapping on our own. Wake has been flagged as a potential apparel utilitarian. See Prime Candidate Program File for more details. In 2011, a book by Clay Stewart titled The Alan Wake Files was published by Roundabout Press, New York, and Olympia. Agents interviewed Clay Stewart and suspected minor util peri-utilitarian sensitivity. He was placed under indefinite surveillance. A monitoring station was established but to, at Cauldron Lake to alert the Bureau of any future activity. Very interesting to have these Alan Wake references. So many mannequins. Knock him over. Can't knock him over. Okay, gotta find one of the mannequins that is different from the others, I guess. One of these mannequins is not like the other. Like the- oh, P6. Like, they put the Alan Wake thing in a perfectly missable spot because it's under something. The other Alan Wake was an Easter egg. Check it out. There's still that mold. There's two. There's still two mold places we didn't. We haven't gone back to yet, which I don't remember where they are. They're in the first area, I believe. In Tropic Echo. Probably other readables. Probably gotta find this mannequin again. I assume. Or the mannequins just led the way uh, uh, to another area, maybe. I don't really understand the mannequins yet. 
There's just a lot of it. Oh, oh, what? Found it. Found the mannequins. Sweet. Give me them points. New hero policy. No more mannequins. Oh, the mannequin was the thing. Oh, okay. That was just one of the quests we had. Okay. Grab the mannequin. Mannequin procedures. No known procedures for preventing the item's effect. Find the item cells with newly discovered black rock has yielded positive results. Test with the other altered items. Wire and fabric, waist mannequin, the base and head are made of stained wood. The item duplicates. The trigger for this behavior is unknown. No corrosion can be found in either the number of duplications that manifest during an episode or the duration for which they last before disappearing. Forgot about that mission already. So now we're just looking for the flamingo. Where is the flamingo at? Real quick, where is it at? It's in the seal dish. Okay, so we could have done that for you. Back to this. I haven't found a save point yet. There's P6. There's P7. Go down first. Over here. Any readables? No, but there's a collectible. Or an openable. Openable! Shatter recoil efficiency. Alright, well, we're not using the shatter. I've just found my good guns, right? Oh, there we go. There's my Skyrim door. Yep, okay. Closed cases. Oh no! Uh, Alright, here we go. Ugh. Set, Meg. Why Mr. don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones what's wrong? I did bad on my clairvoyance test. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. Oh God. Some brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. ESP? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Some brains can lift objects like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> oh my God! I knew it was coming to. Who cares if you fail? Test. Maybe your brain can throw baseballs or talk to dead people or make friends blind. Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> Okay, that's a big chair. What if I don't want the big chair? What if I don't want the big chair? <laughs> Everyone wants the big chair, Meg! Jesus. That's why we're all here. Use those brains to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. <laughs> Yay! Yay! No interruptions! Oh my god, I was that got me. Oh, fine. Yep, let me get the damn way. There we go. Bright Falls summary. Ooh, more about the Bright Falls. I don't confirm threshold manifestation at Cauldron Lake, WA. Uh, resulted in a fictional story written by the author Alan Wake creating an AWE in which reality was altered to match that of the story, though only locally and for a limited time. Mrs. Kirkland Head Investigations was alerted on September 13, 2010 by ex-bureau agent Frank Breaker, see redacted, that an AWE event was taking place in Bright Falls. 
FUA. For the events investigated in 1970, 1976, 1978, Breaker had received a call from Barry Wheeler, Alan Wake's literary agent. Oh yeah, Barry. On behalf of Breaker's uh, daughter, Sarah, who was the current sheriff of Riot Falls. Oh, they are them. Okay. A bureau field team arrived at the site two days later, only to confirm that the event was over. Interviews were conducted, referred to 1970 redacted, Thomas Zane. Odin Anderson, Tor Anderson, oh my god, those guys. Alan Wake was believed to redacted in instigator. Eyewitness reports highlight an old light switch, possible object of power, that redacted, missing. Wake was not found at the scene. Reports claim he dived into the lake, but no bat nobody was recovered in the search. But he eventually comes back. And I forget what it's called right now. Uh, American Nightmare or something like that? Okay. Well, I guess we're going to learn wish about things Dylan. Things have gone differently in ordinary for us. But wishing won't change things. Ordinary. Finding the projector will. So much coming together in this one case. Uh, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. I, the boy, Dylan Faden, prime candidate six, and the sister as well. I mean, once we catch up with her, but the, the boy, it's so much potential. We're talking Northmore level readings here, and, and I don't want to invoke his name. It's completely different circumstances here. It's remarkable. There's more. There was an incident. Yes. We lost a valuable member of our team, yes. Excessive force. Dylan has so much. Jesus. But he's he's just a kid. Like, I'll take the blame. He, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. Oh, God, no. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Roberts got killed. It's an unfortunate accident. That's all. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. Hey! Knock it over. No, it can't. There's two readables? Alright, let's read them. Dylan Faden transcript. Uh, time's so creepy. Except you learned during this outburst. You know, again, I thought I told you to leave me alone. Why are you showing me this? I can't do anything. Can't you see where I am? Why don't you help me get the fuck out of here? You always show me things I can't do anything about. Stop showing me her! I don't care anymore, and I don't care about you. You both left me here to rot. Fuck off, you bitch! <laughs> I will dig out my own brains if it means getting rid of you. I don't want you here. Get the fucking message. I repeated the phase fuck off numerous times before being sedated at 1753. So I'm guessing that's Polaris. And they had some link between them, but they never showed her, right? The uh, never showed her Dylan. Huh? Is that the cage? Alright. P6 victim autopsy. Oh dear. Blunt force uh, agent killed during blah involving uh, redacted, redacted, code name P6. Blunt force injuries at uh, the neck and head. Excessive trauma of the abdominal region. Lacerations and contusions of the upper and lower torso. Fracture of the spinal cord between the L1 and L2 vertebrae. Avulsion uh, fracture of the third through tenth ribs, left and right. Blunt force injuries of the extremities. Abrasions, lacerations, and contusions of the extremities. Dislocation of left and right elbow. Dislocation of left and right knee. After examination, it was determined that the cause of death was internal bleeding that occurred when that redacted was contorted through his redacted. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I can only imagine certain things for that. And they're not good. Okay, with the assumption P7's supposed to be her. 
It's time to learn about her. Oh, there's gonna be a big story thing right here. Yep. What Dylan wanted me to see. It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. Oh, uh, here we are. Yep. There's a picture of her. Last scene, coffee shop. She was hunting them and they were hunting her. What's this? And a P7 outfit. All right, cool. They're petting a dog, create a thing. They were looking for her. All the times I felt paranoid. I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. Coffee soap? Oh, oh god, it's a store called Coffee Soap. What the hell? Coffee soap. I just see it fade in movement tracking. Why does it go up there instead of to the area? Okay, so she went to a lot of places. Cause for concern, eastward movement. Oh, the idea is she was heading towards the bureau, and then, well, she got to the bureau. She was jumping around trying to get to avoid getting noticed, but they noticed her. Find her in the AW area. Okay. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan, and other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember was different. We found a way in, deeper into it, like it had shifted. We went inside and that's where we found the slide projector. A dump is a place for lost things. Right. Things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with... Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? No. Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No! That's just stupid! Come on! That has nothing to do with this. Nothing! The slide projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there? Away from your parents? I don't... I... I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. Are they planting false memories and, and doubt? I feel like that's what they're doing there, and they recorded that. Okay. So the next area is going to be the turntable. Let's just see what's in here, and then that's it. Collectible. I was got to find a save point. I just realized that part. i got to find a save point. Just open up to the turntables. It opens something up. Oh, this says the turntable. Okay, so i got to... Read what happened in Ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. All right, this is obviously the way to continue forward, so let's get out of here. Where am I? So next time we'll do this, I gotta go to a save point. We'll probably do Langston's thing first. We'll do Langston's thing first, but that'll be next time. Do, 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 do. Get to a save point, get to logistics. So where the hell am I? Wrong way, wrong way, over here. Beep beep. I still like how the first time I just got around it. Where am I? Oh, wrong way, this way. So that right there is going to be the game for now. Next time we'll finish Langston's thing and then we'll go do uh, the Sly Projector. Which feels like that might be the end point. We'll see. But that right there is the game for now. I have fun if I'm watching. That's what's up as it. Having fun. Thanks for coming by and see you next time.